Linda's Pantry. So today I'm going to do a little different video for you. I'm doing a, a product review of sorts. Um, my daughter moved back in with her one-year-old baby and uh, she likes to cook him scrambled eggs and so she's been using a Teflon pan and I really want to get the rest of the Teflon out of my house. She's a little uneasy about using my cast iron. She's afraid she's not going to clean it right or do something right and I don't want her to feel like that. So I actually saw and was recommended to use this eco-friendly ceramic pans and it's a beautiful pan, really is. Um, so we're going to try it out. I'm going to give you my honest opinion of how I like it and see how non-stick it is and it'll be a healthier version for the baby and for everybody in the house actually so uh, that being said I hope that if you like this somewhere along the line you give me a thumbs up and if you really like it go ahead and post it on your Facebook page and share it with someone else um, maybe go over to my wild tree website and check out my um, all natural all organic food product line I will be using their grapeseed oil in this recipe and maybe go visit my Facebook page, jump on there and hit the like button and be attached to everybody and start the conversation um, or stay in the conversation with all of us. All right, guys, let's go make some scrambled eggs. Okay, guys, this will be a really quick video. So we're gonna put this over on the stove. I'm gonna start that pan heating up. Preheating, it's always a good idea to preheat. And I like to cook my eggs at a kind of a low temperature. I don't like to dry them out and have them all um, overly done. I think a tough egg is really a bad egg. So, crack these two beautiful organic fresh eggs into the bowl. Sometimes those shells are really tough. And right there I lost a shell in the mix, so I just take my shell itself and scoop it right out. It just does wonders instead of fishing around in there. Then I'm going to pop the yolks give them a good mix. I want to add a dab of cream and I've got heavy whipping cream. It just makes them a little bit richer and then some parsley just to just a little bit. I would just like to have a little fresh green in there. Get that incorporated. And we're ready to go make some scrambled eggs. I'm going to bring you over to the stovetop and we'll get this done. Quick and easy. Okay guys, this is exactly how easy this is. I've got my butter flavored um, grape seed oil. I don't think you can see with this light the way it is. That's the butter flavor. Oh, you can. Um, this is, gosh, I, all of them are my favorite. I keep saying that, but this really is because it just tastes like fresh creamery butter. And you only need about a uh, teaspoon. You don't need a lot. I'm going to turn this heat up to get it rippling around. The pan's been on there pretty heat preheating so you can see the oil is coming away from it. I could cook this without any oil and see how real non-stick it is, but it's okay to have healthy oil in your diet too. And it usually doesn't matter how much oil's in there. It's never completely works to be non-stick. And then I just wait till the edges start coming up. I better have some salt here. A little bit of pink salt, some cracked black pepper, because we like pepper, love pepper, and then I just start pulling the edges in, so it's not getting cooked too quickly, it stays nice and tender, and wow, even where it comes up on the edge, it, it's super non-stick. That's great. Wow. Well, I would say my first opinion of it is fabulous. I might even cook an egg on here without um, any oil in it. 
just to give you a better evaluation. Okay, so that's about where I take my eggs to. I turn that heat off, and I, st I like them soft, so that's, that's where I want it. You can put this on a sandwich, two pieces of toast, you're good to go. Let's put that on a plate. And it slides right out of that pan perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this pan out and then we're gonna do a egg without any, um, I'm gonna turn the burner back on. We're gonna do an egg without any oil put in there first and see how it works. This one, I want the egg or the pan a little hotter, just because you're frying it more so than pink salt, some cracked black pepper. Gotta have a bite of those eggs. Mmm. I'll need a spatula for this one. And I'll tell you, the fresh parsley in there, it's so refreshing to have a fresh herb in your eggs. Um, I don't know if you guys do that or not, but it really does make a difference. See, and that, that is trying to come off that pan by itself. I'm going to let it set that white a little bit longer. And then we'll flip it over. And I'm not a great flipper, so <laughs> no judging. But look how non-stick that is. It's coming right off. Let's see if I can do it right-handed. Nope. <laughs> I think the key to flipping is make sure your spatula is absolutely spotless. And you can just flip right up underneath there and flip it on over. And I'd say that's pretty darn non-stick. Nothing's sticking to this. And that's with no oil. So this is a healthy way to cook. Put that over there and you're done. And you can see that that pan is going to be easy to clean and there's my eggs how wonderful is that okay so let's go uh, do some cleanup and see how it comes out okay so these eggs look delicious I'm gonna have to have a bite I'll probably eat this soft one and maybe save the part of these eggs over here for the baby but we'll see just love tender scrambled eggs Mm. Delicious. And this one here was without the oil. You know it's going to be good, right? Let's see if I can get it on my fork. It'll be good. Mmm. Yum. Okay, so my review on that. Mmm, delicious. That cookware right there is, I say, it gets a A rating. I, it cleaned up beautiful, a little soap and water. And so we'll see how well this holds up because um, what a healthy way to cook. All right, guys, I hope that this inspires you to, you know, try some new products, maybe um, some different alternatives to get away from Teflon and those things. They just... It's so bad for you if you let it start peeling and then you're consuming it. So that being said, I hope you give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you really like it, go ahead and share it on Facebook. And as always, guys, I've got lots of videos coming up, so I hope you come back. Thanks, guys. God bless.